In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create vector boundaries around our vectors. So we can see we've got some vectors in the middle of our worksheet here. So let's go over to the tool, which is the vector boundary tool or the boundary create tool, which is found under the edit objects part of the drawing tab. So let's click into that and let's have a look at the options. Now, the first option you can see is the offset boundary. Now, what this does, it will create a boundary that is offset by the distance specified in this field here. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So let's move this vector out of the way and let's click create a boundary with that offset distance of 0.25 inches. And you can see it's created a vector boundary around our original vector with the offset distance of 0.25 inches. Well, that's a single vector. What happens if you select multiple vectors? Let's highlight that and let's click create. And what this does is it creates a boundary around all of your selected vectors. So you can see the boundary goes around each one of these. Similarly, if you only did the two vectors, you would see that it only does the boundary around the two. Now the next option is the rubber band boundary. Now when you check this option, you can see here it says when this is checked, a rubber band is placed around the selected vectors to form a boundary and no attempt is made to weld the vectors together. So this is literally like getting a rubber band and wrapping them around your vectors. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So let's highlight our vectors again with the left mouse click and dragging it and let's click create. And you can see the boundary is literally just created a boundary as if a rubber band has been stretched around these vectors. So what happens if we include an offset? So let's click create with our vector selected and you'll find that the rubber band boundary is still intact but it also uses the offset distance 0.25 so it still acts as if the rubber band boundary is there. So it still acts as if a rubber band is being wrapped around, except it's taken into account the offset boundary as well. And this is actually quite useful for things like nesting. So if you have some objects that you want to keep together while you're nesting other objects, so you want to keep a group of objects together, a rubber band boundary can help with this. So it does come in handy in those scenarios. But for now, that covers how to use the vector boundary tool.